Is this song change? Well, this song is the same, but the, the, the beat and tempo and everything change. Is he out there all night? All night? It's the funeral. Comes back in the morning to see Charles and feed the horses. And when it gets dark, he goes off again. Wow. He wants to see you two first. What about John and Arthur? I call. He might know I see nobody. Oh, as in, you know, you know, you know. Tell the council the name Grace Shelby Institute is acceptable to us. Acceptable to us. Tommy. I saw Pom. Well done, both of you. Right. Let's go. Uh, we've already seen him. He wanted to see people in a particular order. Only good news. It is only good news, Polly. Yeah, no, no care about you as, as horrible as that. Well, didn't get a chance to uh, see you after the funeral. But, well, you disappeared on us, but, uh... Well, you mean, John, we just want to say that... Arthur, shut up. All right. I have contacts. People in Cunard in Liverpool. They love passenger lists. They can get you into the point of departure. You pick him up and you bring him to me. Who's he got travelling with him? His wife. What? His wife. His wife. So shoot her and bring him to me. Dad, yo! Uh, Tommy, Mrs. Changretta was a teacher at our school. She's a good woman, Tom. A good woman. Well, if she's a good woman, then she'll go to heaven. Hey, Arthur. Fuck. <sighs> Just do it on the list. Nothing else than burn it. If you ain't gonna burn her, you're gonna have to tell her something. That's funny. Not Michael. You saw him before us. John. Not now. Wait, what did you say? You saw Michael before us. Oh, he's, he's not even your brothers. Because legitimate business, John, is the priority. He's when? My fucking wife took a bullet meant for me! Yeah, some secret service, secret fucking service, blah, 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 but you don't tell us shit. We're a couple of fucking toy soldiers. Do this, John. Do that, John. Kill your fucking teacher, John! There's gonna be a little war in a little place that no one gives a fuck about. And the side that is gonna lose needs a little bit of help. And they're willing to pay. And when are you coming back? Hmm? I'm back, Arthur. It's not that real. <laughs> John! He's not back. All right, we're in the servants' quarters because it's where the fucking booze is kept. Arthur, find better words. Uh, when she's drunk, my wife can't speak fucking English. <laughs> <laughs> Family meetings used to be all of us. Together. Arthur, shut up. We're just fucking bin men. Bin men. Whose duty it is to obey. Hmm? Shut up, Finn. <laughs> As if Tommy. As what are we gonna do with Arthur? Oh, Tommy, tell him. Fucking trace. John, stop swearing in front of the kids. I didn't ask for separate meetings today. All right. Uh, what the fuck did you do today? For separate meetings today. All right. I'm only food. You can't say things like that. Now look what you've done. Look where we are. Look how far we've come. I think it's about time we'll start that change. Way more but we could always, yeah, especially John, he always opposing to like change, you know. Been men anymore, Arthur. Tommy's John. Swear to God, he's in a wagon with Johnny Dogs. Huh? Shit. This what is what he does now. They're coming out in the drive. You're not going to tell them. Tell them what? That we're going to Wales. Wales? I left a note. Shut up at least one woman, Tommy. Tommy, it's the woman we're going to see. The woman we're going to see. Yeah, walk on. Walk on. Let's go light a fire in the big room. Let's go drink whiskey. Light a fire? Tommy and me used to light fire. I don't talk about it. Remember last night when you asked after Mama? She's gone, Charlie, and there's a few things we need to get straight. She's not going to be coming back, so it's just you and me. 
Man shoot on her, you know. There you go. Left handed. Now nah, she's been cocked. But you could make me do my You cock. boys are fucking crazy <laughs> men. Yeah, but you feel it though, right? Yeah. Squeeze it. Not don't pull, squeeze. Half oh, a half. Why does a pen pusher who sits on his ass all day want to fire a gun? Hmm? Aye. You man see no one. You know, ask, you know, ask to be protected. Look at that face. Now he feels it. But you won't feel nothing until you point that thing at somebody. At a man. Bro. So, do it. Dog! <laughs> there you go. Now you feel it. Now you feel what we feel. This is what it's like. How does it feel, Michael? Huh? Dog, they're not crazy, you know that. Like having a pen in your hand, and it's more like having your cock in your hand. What's going on? Dog, <laughs> I'm fucking psycho, dog. The body is psychotic, dog. Educating the boss here. I see the boy. You keep calm. Keep calling him the boss. Oh, it's Michael. Like Get in the house. You are go. I'm not a fucking kid anymore. You go ahead. Dad, you sure you are coming out of the wall? Eh? God, you got there, ready. Transition made. I told your brother this whole fucking plan won't work. If Tommy wants to keep this secret, tell him there was a woman in a fur coat. Walking through here in broad daylight. Take a look at this list. Those are all the men who work the night shift who are members of the South Birmingham Communist Party. You've got six weeks. Are you fucking mad? Yeah. He is. Absolutely yeah. crazy. Every factory in the city will come out on strike. So, who's missing? I don't know. Shh. Emmanuel Hunter. She left that name off the list on purpose. Wow. See if you could be trusted. You can't be trusted. Just get them sacked. As they appear on the list, two a week. The last one before the clocks go forward. What books do you like? Riding, flower arranging, embroidery? You'd be surprised at the things I know. Why? Think you got anything in my stupid? What is there to learn after all? As in, like, school or college. Do you tell your friends you're painting a gangster? Huh? Is that the fun in all of this? My motivation for doing this is twofold. Firstly, you have a face full of contradictions. The second motivation is that I am planning to seduce you eventually. <laughs> oh, I said. Please, God, sleep with you. How would that please God? Please me. Why? Why are I caught your back? You better go stand up there. Holly boy paint you. <laughs> Holly! I'll drive at 10,000. Wales. Who oh, man in Wales? You can. And stop. Gypsy? Thank you for your time, Adam Boswell. I heard someone shot your wife. If you're looking for soldiers, our men are all up at Appleby. I have no need for soldiers. What do you think? You're selling? Giving. Why? Did you take it? My wife was wearing it the night she was shot. I lie awake at night. At four in the fucking morning and I blame myself for her death. You want me to tell you this jewel is cursed? It's, it isn't. And then her death won't be all your fault. Yeah! Now you wanna try to take your blame off your shoulders, dog! Less you, Tommy Shelby! You'll have good fortune from now on. The business is done. It's done. All religion is a foolish answer to a foolish question. Oh, religion is a foolish answer to a foolish question. Charlie from the camp would have learned enough bad habits by now. He knows, like, Grace dying is on his shoulders. He knows that. So he's like, I'm going to Egypt. If we're Egypt, we, we tell him, hey, just tell, tell me the, its cause. So that, tag. Oh, Senor. 
Third class boarding. Man, I come for you, no teacher. He, they ain't gonna kill. They, they ain't gonna. Um, I doubt after them gonna kill the teacher. Officer, there are some men they may not harm. We are in danger here. Can you escort us to the dock? Please. Why? Come with me. Hey, Papi, no. Bro, he basically. This is the plan, you know. The man basically get them full run, go up. So they go meet up and Arthur them up there. Lead them. He get police and them in the hands. So you can go meet freaking Arthur and them dad. Thank you, officer. Wow. That'll be all. George Shelby. How many times I looked the other way because of your sweet smile. I said, let him go. He's coming with us. The thing I want to kill. The thing I want to kill. Until I know my wife is safe. He's an old man. I gave you sweets and cakes. Greta, there are rules. Your husband knows the rules. You have 10 seconds or Tommy's orders stand. They stand. One. Two. Please. Three. No, 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 no. America. No, no, no. A new life. No, no, no. Come in. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Or I will cut away your fucking eyelids! See, I'll take your balls first. You drain too fast like you fuckers do. I take your tongue. You won't be able to explain. And I want you to explain. I want you to fucking explain. Come on, tell me. I forget who I am. I forget who I am. I'm a blinder. I'll take your fucking eyes first! And we got his wife bought the immigrant ship to New York. We didn't kill Mrs. Changretta. Bro, this episode here. Tia, this episode here just. Did you do what was on your list, Anna? Yeah, on your fucking list. Did you? Did you? But just promise me no one will get killed. Bro. Later. It'll be me or John or Arthur who gets killed if you don't give me the fucking nine. <laughs> He's a Lloyd's underwriter. He's got an office on Curzon Street. Tommy, for fuck's sake, who is it that's ahead of you? James Moyton. I know I you, Adam. No, you can't. And I just asked you a fucking question. And I notice he started wearing lipstick again. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, so what? We man be. There's gonna be a vacancy coming up. And shall we company limited? Boston office. Boston, Boston America. Lipstick. Clothes from Paris. They're going to America. James Monkland, right? James Monkland. Good night, I'll have you. Tommy Shelby. I need to know the name of the person in the organization who was giving you information. What organization? Why? They are very, very dangerous people. No. <laughs> you... <laughs> you gotta be crazy, that. Well, you have to choose who you're more afraid of. Huh? The Pinky Blinders at exactly 11.43 or Section D at some point in the future. We've spoken about I was gonna wait until you had a strong cup of tea in your hand. Come on, then. But, um, I'm gonna have a baby, Arthur. You said you spent the night taking stock. Or well, so did I. What? This working at night will have to stop. Linda! He's pregnant. He's up this morning. I'm gonna be a fucking dad. <laughs> Fuck off. Goodbye, Arthur. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that. I absolutely have to go to. I absolutely yeah. don't know that. He be gonna tell him. Yeah, of course you do. No, he's telling him goodbye as in like he done with the whole. Yeah, you Bro, this is that we tell him goodbye there is him telling Arthur, yo, you're done with this whole thing, you know. Before we begin, Mr. Shelby, we must offer you our sincere condolences on your recent loss, which some of us witnessed. Uh huh. They say you're an expert on cars. Yes, I am. I am curious, what was your father's profession? Well, he uh, he told fortunes and he stole horses. 
What I have to say can be said before the main course, and then I will leave you all to your evening. Grand Duchess, I must apologize for the bad manners of my compatriot. So, how will you move the train? We have two locomotive drivers who have been allocated to drive the midnight goods train to London. The armored vehicles will be waiting on flatbeds. And the ammunition? All the goods will be unloaded at a coal yard in St Albans and put onto Shelby Company trucks. From there, they will go directly to the Poplar docks. Yeah. If there is no ship waiting for my men, all goods will be dumped into the sea before first light. What happens when they discover the armed cars are missing? During the rioting. This uh, is the amount of extra expense I believe I will incur for trucks and fuels. I have secrets. But of course, Mr. Shelby. Before I go, I would like it known that I'm unable to swallow food in the same room as this priest. Oh, we're meeting in just... What he has to say. I have secrets. I have secrets. The priest is passing information about the robbery to a Lloyd's under article Monkland. He, in turn, is passing information to the Soviet embassy. You are able to continue your business dealings even after what happened. But Iman, that, that's what man does do. Perhaps you didn't love her. Why? Can't do see them stupid. You're crazy. She's there. By my side. <laughs> that was she like. She like that thing that. No, she like that thing. Trust these people. Now give me permission. And she don't wet her head, you know. To kill the priest. She don't wet. She don't milk in. She don't leak in. You boy grabbing, you boy grabbing she up. What, 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 what? <laughs> Dad, how she gonna say that? How you gonna say that? You are able to uh, proceed with a um, walk even after what her pops. You didn't love her. You're crazy. But that's what man do. You know? Eventually, you boy, you boy be have to like get, he like you wait off his shoulder. So he did what he had to do to get the weight off his shoulder so he can continue walking. So it's like, priest, priest is the one who like giving information to the enemy of like um my girl why no he's setting them up it's basically a big setup because remember um the girl the woman isabella she was talking to the guy and telling him even up like after doing all the work with thomas you gonna have to kill him would you be able to do that and all that kind of shit and he was like yeah yeah i can do it i can do it but this woman here tag bro oh you just have to see like how everything get mellow down but more than like here yeah, is a setup I have more that. Where's Gary there? We're all of them. Season 3. Season 3, episode 3. Finished. Done with. Over. Yes, guys. You don't know you know anybody who's here watching. Large of yourself. Bless up yourself. Until the next episode, guys. Have a wonderful day. Be good. Stay safe. Peace out.